my friend. Most just called him the Crooked Man. Hellboy has quite an interesting rogues gallery that has never failed to entertain the fans, and the Crooked Man is no exception to this infamous list. The unique superhero and protagonist of Mike Mignola's comic book series has experienced some bizarre situations and twisted villains during his adventures with the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense, and Hellboy comes across the Crooked Man during one of his earlier adventures. In this video, we will take you through the detailed physiological details of this demented and deranged entity, the Crooked Man who is the near perfect embodiment of evil. There might be some spoilers from the recently released Hellboy movie, so you have been warned. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. In the crooked things straight. <laughs> Who is the Crooked Man, and why is he so dangerous? The Crooked Man is a devilish entity, evil personified, and he serves as the primary antagonist of Mike Mignola's comic book titled The Crooked Man, as well as the recently released movie adaptation. It is revealed that the Crooked Man went by the name Jeremiah Whitkins when he was still alive, and according to the local legend, he was among the first settlers in the Appalachian Mountains of Virginia. He was a terrible man, and as revealed in the movie, he worked for both sides during the Civil War, selling liquor and guns. He made a fortune for himself through such corrupt practices, but eventually he was hanged for his crimes and his wealth was gone without a trace. It could have been an end to a despicable human life, but the devil sent him back into the mortal world as a demonic soul collector. For each soul that he collected, the crooked man would be rewarded with what he loves best, riches. And over the years, he has been doing the same for the devil, using his twisted manipulation techniques and superpowers. He dwells in the Appalachian region and he uses his incredible powers to get the better of his unsuspecting victims. It all goes well for the Crooked Man, until he comes face to face with Hellboy and his companions following a freaky train accident encountered by them. I heard tales about him all my life. Most just called him the Crooked Man. What does the Crooked Man look like? Exploring the difference between his human and demonic form, one of the things that we love about the newly released Hellboy movie, even though it comes with its fair share of flaws, is the accurate portrayal of the Crooked Man. Even his appearance is comic book accurate, and he looks exactly like his name suggests, crooked and twisted. When he was alive, Jeremiah Whitkins was a tall Caucasian male who had long sideburns, a blinded eye, and an evil grin that was like a mirror to his personality. Following his death, his appearance worsened further when he was brought back into the mortal world by the devil. He retained his creepy look and smile, but the sideburns became more prominent. His movements were somewhat restricted and slow, and his head lolled to a side, which made his arrival one of the eerie scenes in the movie. There was also an adequately pale look in his flesh, and when he smiled with several teeth missing, it was indeed a sight to behold. He was dressed like a man from the Civil War era, and the ragged clothes remained on him even after his death. Is the Crooked Man really dead or was he revived by the devil? It is quite natural for such a question to pop up, especially because of the nature of his portrayal in the movie. The Crooked Man is said to be dead, but when we see him, he doesn't show many ghostly or undead features. It almost seems like he has been brought back from the dead by some means, and he is not really dead after striking a deal with the devil. However, the comic book narrative is quite clear on this, and it is stated that Jeremiah Whitkins was hanged for his heinous crimes. He died and lost all his wrongfully imagined wealth, which was a big blow for him, and this weakness prompted the devil to recruit him as one of his soul-collecting sidekicks. For some monetary rewards, the crooked man was more than willing to do his bidding, and what you see in the movie is simply the undead version of him still trying to recollect the wealth that he lost in his lifetime. Could the Crooked Man bestow his powers on anyone? The Crooked Man gained several superpowers once he was brought back into the mortal realm by the devil. One of these powers included his ability to bestow a part of his magical powers to those he deemed fit. One of his trusted sidekicks was a witch named Effie Kolb, and it has been indicated that the Crooked Man gave her a part of his powers. The fact that she was powered by this evil entity was further proved when she weakened severely at the end of the movie following the destruction of the Crooked Man at the hands of Hellboy and Tom. Till the the time the Crooked Man retained his powers, she was quite a powerful entity and seemed to possess many of his powers, such as shape-shifting and other magical abilities. The ones that the Crooked Man raised from the dead also seemed to possess certain powers that were in all probability granted by him. 
How did the crooked man's shape-shifting abilities work when a young and enthusiastic Hellboy was determined to track down the crooked man and end his evil reign, he met a roadblock almost immediately. The secret lair of the crooked man was not easy to find, and to make matters even more difficult, he could shapeshift and turn into just about anything or anyone to confuse his enemies. When his attack on the church was unable to yield results, the crooked man realized that it was time for him to escape. He was cornered, and it almost seemed like Hellboy and Tom with the magic cat bone would destroy him permanently. Permanently, but he managed to transform into a bat-like creature and flew away into the wilderness. The crooked man was the evil incarnate, and his effortless shape-shifting was probably a skill given to him by the devil himself. He could also turn into terrifying creatures to intimidate others, and as we have discussed already, he could probably give away a part of these abilities to his minions as well. What is the Lucky Cat Bone and why is the Crooked Man affected by it? The Lucky Cat Bone is a magical item that turned into a lucky charm. It all started when Effie Kolb, the Crooked Man's trusted minion, met Tom Farrell and convinced him to create a special object from the wisdom of witchcraft that she shared with him. He boiled the meat off the carcass of a cat and then proceeded to clean the bones while speaking incantations. This particular cat bone then became a magic charm, and for over two decades it became a lucky item for Tom that protected him all through his military service in situations situations that meant certain death. When Hellboy and his companions were first attacked by the Crooked Man and his demonic minions and army of the dead, the reverend of a local church imbued the Lucky Cat Bone with the Holy Spirit, and it became even more powerful. The reverend also realized that the Lucky Cat Bone had demonic power in it, which made it irresistible for the Crooked Man. More than the soul of Tom, he was after this totem so that he could make use of the powers. This prompted the reverend to force the Holy Spirit into the bone and cast the evil out altogether. It later became instrumental in saving saving the lives of Hellboy and Tom, and was one of the important tools in destroying the Crooked Man. What was the Crooked Man's most important power? The Crooked Man was a man of several unique superpowers, but none of them were as effective as his ability to raise the dead. It was a haunting scene in the movie when Hellboy and his colleagues sought refuge in a church and the Crooked Man came after them. Initially, it seemed like the evil entity and his minions and subordinate witches wouldn't be able to infiltrate the Holy Land, but the Crooked Man soon found a way around it. He put his hands into the ground and started to reanimate the dead, and soon, hordes of undead corpses started attacking attacking the group inside the church. These undead individuals were completely under the command of the Crooked Man, and they had no mind of their own. This was evident from the fact that Tom's dead father woke up and attacked him, something he would have never done in his lifetime. His ability to awaken the dead came in handy for the Crooked Man on quite a few occasions, but unfortunately, it still was not enough to save him from the wrath of Hellboy. Was the Crooked Man more powerful than Hellboy? The intense contest between Hellboy and the Crooked Man is what made the movie so interesting, and their matchup was almost even until Hellboy overpowered him in the end. However, you have to consider that the version of Hellboy that we see in the comic book or in the movie for this particular story arc is quite young. He is yet to have all the experience that he gathers over the years, and he also makes a few rash decisions which do not help his cause. Considering all these factors, we have to agree that Prime Hellboy would probably make quick work of the Crooked Crooked Man and wouldn't face as many challenges. That being said, the Crooked Man did seem to be physically more powerful than Hellboy and pinned him down on a few occasions. He did require the help of the magical Catbone and Tom to destroy the Crooked Man for good. Could the Crooked Man induce hallucinations? We did come across a few witches in the movie who were influenced by the Crooked Man, and they could cause one to hallucinate and control their minds as well. Since the witches were powered by the Crooked Man, it might not be a far stretch to remark that the Crooked Man could also induce hallucinations. Also, throughout the movie there have been a few times when Hellboy hallucinated his own mother who was a witch herself. The possibility that the Crooked Man induced these hallucinations to weaken Hellboy mentally cannot be ruled out as well. Thus, even even though it was not confirmed in the movie, it did seem as though the Crooked Man was capable of inducing hallucinations among individuals if he so desired. Did the Crooked Man control demonic creatures? The first scene of the movie adaptation of the Crooked Man introduced a giant spider-like creature that was revealed to have been possessed by a demonic entity. Throughout the movie, we encountered some strange and grotesque demonic entities, and there have been enough hints that the Crooked Man has been controlling them the whole time. Even in his lair, there seemed to be some demonic entities under his control, which worked together to bring down Tom and Hellboy. Back in the tunnel, where the Reverend and Hellboy's female colleague were exploring the terrain, there were more of the spider-like creature, and they were somewhat mind-controlled by the evil being. 
How did darkness affect the Crooked Man? It was revealed in the movie that the Crooked Man was a creature of darkness, which did not come as a big surprise because he was the devil's minion. The Reverend suggested that the Crooked Man would be invincible after dark, and the only way to defeat him was in broad daylight. However, it also needs to be considered that the Crooked Man did not burn away or face any major hindrances even in daylight, and it would be unfair to compare his weakness to that of vampires who cannot sustain themselves for a moment in bright light. Also, the incredible magical abilities of the Crooked Man meant that he could bring about darkness whenever he wanted, simply by covering the skies with dark clouds or demonic creatures. When it was dark, his powers were at its peak, and this was revealed during his escape attempt. He flew into the darkness to recover from the defeat that Hellboy brought upon him in the church grounds and slid into his secret lair to fight another day. In order to stand a chance against him, Hellboy and Tom followed him into the forest to find out the secret lair before it was completely dark. Could the Crooked Man reproduce? There were no records of the Crooked Man having a child even when he was alive, and he might not have been much of a family man. Clearly, his obsession was entirely in wealth and riches, and he did not shy away from corrupt practices in order to fuel this obsession. He was not portrayed as a lusty entity in the comic books or in the movie, and thus, it would be quite difficult to predict if he could reproduce. That being said, the undead version of him brought back by the devil did have access to some alluring witches, and it wouldn't be completely impossible for him to give in to the temptations. Now that the Crooked Man has been destroyed completely, his offspring could be a nice way to bring him back in some capacity if the makers plan a sequel movie. What were the major weaknesses of the Crooked Man? The Crooked Man was a near-invincible entity, but he did have a few chinks in his armor. For starters, the Crooked Man was quite intimidated by the magical cat bone possessed by Tom. He knew that he could be affected by this powerful totem and wanted to possess it by any means possible. He was also weakened slightly in broad daylight, and he preferred to fight in the cover of darkness. As it turned out, the devil did not make him immortal because he did eventually succumb to Hellboy and Tom. Also, it was noted during the final moments of the movie that the Crooked Man was extremely attached to his wealth. Losing the coins that he collected from years of serving the devil weakened him quite a bit and allowed Hellboy and Tom to strike the killing blow. Marvelous Verdict A Villain Worthy of Hellboy The character of Hellboy has an undeniably wacky presence and he doesn't exactly come across as a superhero that you would picture. In order to match his quirky nature, an antagonist like the Crooked Man is the perfect fit. The comic book narrative portrayed him quite nicely, and the movie adaptation did a fine job in accurately lifting it for the screens. Overall, it was a worthy villain who could match Hellboy's incredible powers and pose quite a stiff challenge for the BPRD member. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.